Yeah, probably, probably the two we went with in the first test, the two fittest, and uh, we've probably got the two fittest now for this test. Uh, um, Alex comes in, he's got a lot of height. We expect there to be some aerial battles going on. Um, so we think he may just uh, give us an edge in the area of the game. Well, he's, he's certainly got the volume into him now, and we're really, really happy with him. Uh, full of running. Uh, fresh, so uh, expecting a big work rate from the back three. Josh Adams last week played. He had a lot of head struggles on his leg. How was he? Yeah, leg's fine. Leg's fine. He had strapping uh, other parts of his body as well. So but he got through the game and um, he'll play some part off the bench this weekend. He will cut the centre looking at the squad. Yeah, back three and the midfield. Um, midfield didn't get a lot of uh, as much rugby as in a lot of the test matches last week, and um, we're not sure whether it'll be the same way or not, but certainly the back three uh, had a big work rate. Right? Sam Wainwright comes on the bench, has just gone home, um, has had a lot of top flight work. What have you seen of him since he came into the Wales squad? Yeah, we looked long and hard at, uh, at tight head available. Um, you know, when we looked at bringing the extra prop in, um, or in the initial selection when Leon was out, uh, and Sam's one that we think has a big future in the game. Look, I think... Um, you know, it's a big ask for any of the props we were to put in there. Sam has trained really, really well. Um, he's enjoying every minute of his time with us. And uh, look, if he gets on the park and has his debut, it'll be fantastic for him and his family. When Jones comes in on the bench, that's similar to Alex Cuthbert you said last week in action with the volume. Yeah, yeah, it was. We had a lot of guys coming off no rugby and, and some injuries. And uh, about getting the balance right the first week, looking ahead to the second week, we think this is a good balance. So we've got 14 changes, 19 in the match. So Gareth Edwards says it's disrespecting Wales and devaluing the series. Do you believe it's disrespecting Wales and devaluing the series? No, look, I think um, from our point of view, it's it's a big focus on how we can improve from the last Test match. Uh, we're in a different part of the cycle, really. We're, we're at the end of our season, they're at the start of theirs. Uh, they'll have their reasoning. Look, uh, they've got depth and quality throughout the squad and some experience uh, in this team. So we're certainly not taking them lightly at all. Uh, there are players there playing um, with an opportunity to impress for the for the third test. So we know they'll come out strongly and um, represent their country like uh, anyone in that uh, that jersey. So for us, it's around what we can control, and that's uh, our performance. What are your feelings after last week? weekend? It was so close. Yeah, look, in, in reviewing the game, um, you know, probably one of the players the match penalised, and that was Louis Rees Samet's um, excellent cover tackle, and then his clear release and, and um, work over the ball to earn a penalty. Um, they scored a try off that, and we were down to another player. So, look, that was a big moment in the game for us, and very disappointing. But um, soon we have to pull that behind us. Um, boys have worked really hard again this week, as they did for the first test, and. Look, we can um, go in there knowing that we, we, I don't think we could do much else to prepare for this test match. So, yeah, we've put the disappointment of last week behind us and um, we're excited about the opportunity to go again. I'm not similar atmosphere to Victoria. 100%. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, talking to some people, we've got a, an advanced crew that are up there now and uh, people are buzzing. They haven't had a test match there for a few years. So, but we expect it to be another great atmosphere and one which we're looking forward to. Uh, Lessons for the altitude. Yeah, look, um, coming over when we did, I think, has paid dividends. I think everyone's um, very much acclimatised and are looking forward to just getting out there now. Thank you. It's been excellent. Um, you, know, he, you know, he talks openly and looks back at uh, his career to date and he knows he's a much better rugby player now with the, with the experience he's had. Um, and I think playing outside of Wales, uh, he really enjoyed. Uh, and he's back now and, and he's thriving being in the environment. Uh, the yeah, look, he, he's doing a great job for us coming off the bench. Um, the, the fine arts of the game, the scrummaging, that sort of thing, I think Ryan at the moment has just got the nod. And uh, look, it's Great competition, and uh, Sam Perry in the background is working, working very, very hard, putting as much pressure he can on those two. So that's what we want. We want that across all positions in the squad, and we're trying to build depth. And certainly, Hooker is one with a lot of competition. Just on Sam Wayne, 
Sam has been, as you would expect, uh, like a young player coming in. He's like a sponge. He's just taking the information. Uh, he's had a lot of conversations, obviously, with Don, um, and the experienced players that will be in and around him. So, look, he's uh, he's really looking forward to the opportunity, and I think uh, once he's out there, he'll um, he'll give it everything he's got. I've got no doubt about that. Thank you. This time around, when we saw a 14 change, what was the reaction like? Yeah. Yeah, so for us, it's, we're not really sure what might be coming. Um, so there's a lot of players here that haven't played together for a while. Um, so for us, it's really a matter of focusing on what we're going to bring to the game and hopefully you know, that's going to be a lot more discipline than last week because we let ourselves down clearly in that area of the game and you know to hold, hold South Africa as close as we did for as long as we did but with a penalty count that was that's a testament to some of the good work we did do um, look it's it's um, and obviously if you can get the result by using the whole squad then you're in a pretty good place and um, there are well certainly we're, we're happy to um, not have too many injuries you know just Tom Francis, who was very unlucky last weekend. So we've got a pretty simple team from our point of view. Um, we're happy with that. But we do know the team that is coming up, uh, that will be coming against us, will be full of enthusiasm. You know, when you give uh, rugby players an opportunity, uh, most of the time they'll, they'll take it with both hands. And uh, look, we're expecting a South African team full of uh, full of ambition, full of um, intensity in the way they play the game. And and we know uh, that they'll be coming with one uh, one thing in mind only, and that is to win a test match. Yeah, look, um, from our end, this facility here has been fantastic. It can accommodate us. Uh, where we're going to is a little bit smaller, um, so it's not probably ideal, but we're going to a smaller town, and so that's to be expected. Look, we're, we're, we've fit in really, really well. We've been well looked after, and uh, look, we know we'll enjoy our time in Bloemfontein. Thank you. Um, you look at Max in particular, you talk about the competition. Uh, do you feel that you have a very decent advantage now with the back division? Do you look at the experience that you guys have? Oh, we've probably had uh, a few more days to prepare than that, that particular back line that we'll be up against. But you just got to look at the experience in the back line, though, with Jesse Creel, Mr. Hazen. But they, they, they're a they are very, very good players. They're very experienced players. You know, you, the world class number ten drops back in there, so we expect them to settle in pretty, uh, pretty early in this game, and we expect it to be another big arm wrestle. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can just front up and do our part. Look, we, we haven't focused on too many individuals, to be quite honest. It's, it's really about our performance because if you look deeply into our performance, you know, 18-3 up is a game that we felt we should have won. So we've really looked hard at our own performance and pulled that to bits uh, and then looked at what we need to bring this week to be successful. You know, we, we can't really gauge the South African team because the team we're playing um, wasn't, the, wasn't the 15 that we played last week. So for us, it's really been about getting our own house in order and making sure that we, uh, we hit the... We can start as well as we can uh, as we did last week, and that's certainly going to be our aim. Okay, any more questions on that? Uh, right, uh, Alex Bywater, we can do one off the line if you can get off mute and we can hear you. I, I away and it's Alex. Hope you can hear me all right. Um, I just wondered, have you had any feedback from World Rugby on some of those key decisions you talked about learning from the discipline and the cards? Uh, have you had feedback on some of those ones? Yes, we have. Um, I mentioned Louis Rees Samet. I think he, that was the most unlucky play in, in the match. Um, uh, clearly, from our point of view, we thought it was excellent play. Um, and it was a big, big moment in the game. So, look, that was a little bit frustrating. But <clears throat> we know that there are areas in the game which um, we need to improve on uh, in, in terms of our discipline. 
but we felt also that um, there were some things that didn't quite go our way. So that's we put that behind us. We've we've got the learnings from that. We've spoken about, about uh, the areas of the game that we need to tighten up on in terms of our discipline. So hopefully we can make sure that we uh, we achieve that in the second test.